So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. So hi everyone, in this particular tutorial I will be discussing about how you can create a multi-agent conversation and debates using Langgraph and Langchain. So basically this is based on the idea of multi-agent orchestration that I've already told you in a previous video where you can hire a team of AI agents, give them a task and they have a conversation within themselves to come up with the final result. It's not just a single agent but multiple agents that are individual and then they are interacting with each other. So let's get started. So in this particular tutorial we'll be learning how you can create a debate app. So where you can provide a topic for debate two agents for the motion and against the motion for the topic would be created internally. The debate over a topic, you can see the conversation in the end, how they are discussing it. Once a certain conversation limit is reached, the jury is called. The jury summarizes the entire debate and decides the winner. So this is completely automatic and you are just providing the debate topic. So do remember this. So as I've already discussed the basics of Lang graph in my previous video, uh, I would be skipping on that. So if you are not, if you are new to Langgraph, I would suggest you to just go through and uh, the video or my previous blog on improving RAG using uh, Langgraph. So let's get started. So first of all, we will be importing a few required packages from Langchain and Langgraph. Basically, I would be using Langgraph majorly, uh, the state graph and the end note, and then OpenA for LLM. And if you are using a different LLM, that's fine. I think you can use over open source or local LLMs as well. Next, you need to provide the debate topic. So the debate topic for that I'm using is should data scientists write backend and API codes as well. Deciding over the two agents. Now, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm using the LLM to provide it a debate topic and asking it to generate with two uh, uh, fighting parties. What should be the two parties called and then using the uh, output parser to get to the two names. So the two names that are given are data scientists and full stack developers. Right now, for example, if the debate topic would have been would AI take over the world, then that these two topics could be pro AI and anti AI, something like this. So these two parties the two uh, contenders, the two competitors are suggested by the uh, LLM itself. So now we have got the two classes uh, for who will be fighting with each other. Second, we will be deciding the graph state. So basically, as I already told you, graph state is basically the variables that can be used throughout the graph flow. For more information, uh, do refer to my previous video. Now in this case, I am deciding over uh, six variables. Classification to check which uh, who should speak next, which agent should speak next. History, the conversation so far, current response, the last line spoken by any agent. So who was the last speaker? Basically the last response coming out. Count is conversation length, result is verdict by the jury and greeting is welcome message. Right. Now, this is the most important part. I will be deciding over the graph nodes. So graph nodes are basically the graph function, uh, the functions that would be executed using during the graph flow. So basically uh, the nodes that I'm using is first one is a classify input node that I'm adding here. This would basically what it will do. It will read the current response variable. What, whatever is the last response given, classify it as the sentiment of the input as the one of the two classes key who spoke it, whether it was a data scientist who spoke it or whether it was a full stack developer and eventually give out the classification result. There is a handle greeting node. I think it's uh, quite obvious as the previous example. So I'm skipping this. It just is just a static message. Handle pro. So pro is basically for the motion. So uh, I, the same logic is repeated for a handle opposition also. So here you can see that state.get history. So whatever conversation has been done so far, first of all, we are loading that. And then we're getting the current response also. Now, if the it is the first dialogue of the whole conversation, somebody equals to nothing. So I'm passing this variable, I'll be showing you. So what we are doing is that we are using uh, the core. We are using this particular prompt for the agents that we're using. You are in support of dash. You, you are in a debate with dash over the topic dash. This is the uh, conversation so far. This is again the history variable that I would be passing. Uh, put forth your next argument support of your community, whether it's data scientist speaking or the full stack developer countering the last response. So, uh, for example, if a data scientist spoke that key, no, we are not good with uh, app development. So 
and if the next chance is for the full stack developers so it would be countering uh, that we are not good with uh, app development so the last response given by the opposition supporting your motion so there are a few variables in this particular prompt that i'm using uh, once you are when you're running this particular code do uh, do follow it closely key what variables are getting passed so uh, for example assume that it is this particular uh, prefix is used for a data scientist so it will go like you are in support of data scientist should not write in support of data scientist you are in debate with full stack developer over the topic the debate topic that we used this is the conversation so far the conversation history put forth your next argument to support data scientist countering the output uh, the last response given by the full stack developer don't repeat your previous argument give a short one liner now once you enter this particular graph node we are passing all these values and getting the llm response so this is basically the if else condition is basically when the summary is present and then the summary is not present so i think almost the prompt remains almost the same not a major change and once we are completing this particular node we are updating a few values just see this so first is the history so in the history what we are doing we are in the existing history we are adding the current response given this is the current response uh, which we are maintaining separately and count equals to count plus 1 so we are loading the actual value of the count and doing a plus 1 so that the conversation count increases because we would be breaking this conversation when a th certain threshold is reached similarly for handle opposition the same logic is followed loading the history getting the current response depending upon the uh, current response by the opposition agent and the history generate a new response by this particular agent the opposition and this is the result so in result we'll be loading the entire conversation history and summarizing the conversation judging who won the debate as i mentioned no ties are allowed here now we are adding a few nodes here classify input as i already told you handle greeting handle pro is basically for the motion handling opposition and result all this has been discussed here you can just check it out adding conditional edges so in my previous video i have already told you what are conditional edges in lang graph so basically in lang graph once uh, once uh, when you have multiple options to move from one node to another you have multiple edges from a node in that case we follow a logic to choose which node to follow up so in this case we are adding up three node uh, three conditional edges add conditional edge one that is from classify input to decide the next node conditional to a uh, condition uh, edge 2 and conditional edge 3 so with the first conditional edge as you can see here once the speaker from uh, for the last conversation is recognized using classify input node choose the alternate speaker this basically helps uh, help us to choose which agent should speak next in the debate second and third edge basically introduces a cycle so what we are doing uh, if the speaker from for the motion speaks then we check whether the conversation limit is reached if it is not then we uh, then we move to the next uh, the uh, the opposition speaker we again check the conversation limit and then we again go to the uh, for the motion agent so this cycle goes on until unless that filter for conversation limit is reached we are and adding a entry point that is handle greeting adding the edges handle greeting handle pro so basically the first uh, argument would be made by the agent from for the motion compiling the graph and then for pa passing these values so count is zero as we are initiating the conversation history is nothing current response is blank now see this response that i have generated data scientist should write back end and api codes to ensure seamless integration of models and efficient data processing then the full stack developer says possess expertise in both front end back end development ensuring comprehensive understanding and effective implementation of data models and api so this conversation goes on it's a long conversation now if you look into the results generated by the jury the conversation and debate between who are uh, on who is better suited to write back end apis it's a long response but eventually if you see therefore full stack developers emerge as the winner of this debate due to their comprehensive expertise in software development so basically you can see that we have generated an entire fake conversation by creating two ai agents uh, assigning them roles giving them the debate topic and then we also have a jury which is uh, analyzing the final conversation and then giving us a judgment now this is how the entire graph looks like so this is the handle greeting part the first node that is running uh, irrespective of whatever is the debate topic then the first argument goes always to the 
the person and for the motion that we can play around but for now uh, the first argument would be made by the per, uh, agent and for the motion then we check for conversation length if the conversation length is not hit we classify the input key who spoke the last argument and then we go to check the decide the next node which goes to handle opposition now we again check the conversation length and there is a cycle as you can see here cycle going on here is a cycle getting introduced and this is a cycle that is getting introduced it's very easy to understand once uh, you run the code you will be able to get it how the cycle is getting introduced and then results are coming here so results can come from two directions uh, uh, once when the conversation length after the agent in for the motion hits the conversation length then we get a result else if the conversation length is completed after the opposition has made his argument so there are two ways in which the result can be obtained and then we get to an end so this is how you can create a debate application using lang graph where two ai agents are fighting with each other and then we have a jury also deciding over the results and this conversation length can be increased also so it, for now the conversation length that i have kept the filter that i have kept is 10 so five arguments each but this can be extended to 100 200 300 whatever you wish to do thank you